Hello everybody, I am Ness. A happy new year 2021. So I wish you um, all the best. I wish you lots of love, lots of blessings and um, bliss within this year. So I am back. I've had a bit of time off because the energies were so intense, just like you know guys. So I just needed to, to process all of that. And um, I just wanted to come back refresh and renewed. So um, I felt that today was the right day to actually make this video and wish you um, a beautiful year ahead. So if you think 2020 was challenging, wait to see 2021. <laughs> Everything that is that we see will start to crumble and before it crumbles down it will look like a uh, a big big mess but this is needed and so i hope you have prepared yourself to for this for these future events so i would highly recommend you to stay in your heart um, your heart will tell you what to do and connect yourself with the um, crystal and grid of the planet Gaia but also source energy so make it a daily practice to connect with your heart so to follow your own guidance and to listen to this guidance and also ground you with Gaia with Gaia's energy and source energy so this will allow you this will allow your energy to be more stable and to basically move through your life without having without being um without being um torn apart from the events that are coming f basically our way collectively so i think it's going to be a beautiful year because um you know amidst the, the 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 chaos that are coming uh our way um chaos means also change means also um new energy means also more love because we are um building together we are moving together into this 5d um new structure and energy and so for me this year i'm gonna work on loving others the way i love myself so you may not know this but i've been working i mean i've been on this path for the for a little while but um, i've been working on self-love for the past three years really um because bef pre before that i actually didn't know that i didn't love myself and then when i've realized that i actually didn't love myself it was absolutely liberating i was like oh okay so everything makes more sense now so i've been working on it and i must say um this is this was the most rewarding thing i've ever done and self-love leads you to so many other things it opens the door to other um to for you to embody other aspects of you so self-love led me to embodying the divine feminine within me and the divine feminine allowed me to awaken um, my light body my angel wings you know and uh, the sacred union within me i felt the energy of the masculine and the feminine coming together i've really felt that yin and yang symbol symbol that we that you can see that everybody recognizes within me i felt this um the two serpent the caduceus awakening within me and coming you know uh, together creating an energy um it felt like a twin flame energy within me um i mean and those are just a few things that i have experienced that everybody can and is about to experience or have already experienced and so uh, you can't go wrong when you um, 
focus yourself on self-love and then it's been it's been calling me for a while now but uh, I feel like now I want to love others the way I love myself so basically um, I want to see myself also in others and realize that we're all connected but I want to be able to uh, embody this so this year for me will be about embodying the um, loving others and truly embodying this unity consciousness that we've been talking about you've probably heard this concept that we're all united and so for me it will be about uh, embodying this integrating it and um, actively expressing it so um, I am doing a few things to do that so first of all I'm gonna meet with a friend every Wednesday um, she's got a massive massive heart and so we are um, doing like ceremonies every every Wednesday where we come together and then we uh, embody this this unconditional energy and we are also um, we also have homework so every week we work on an aspect so for example um, for me this week was about releasing anything so releasing and trusting the universe and giving it back to the universe and for my friend um, she was focusing on um, creating love in every in all situations so so as we do this exercise throughout the week it will allow us to actually embody more love within you know within ourselves so um, this work will be more tangible the result will be more tangible after three months after six months after a year and because love is infinite I mean we could literally spend the the rest of our lives working on um, loving others uh, the way we love ourselves and we could even go further and further and further into it and I think this is where we're heading at anyway uh, unity consciousness is about loving also others and realizing that we're all brothers and sisters that we're all united as one soul and there are many other things that i will be doing um because they come along i feel like a dragon energy it's been there for about two years but it, it's coming back very very strongly the divine feminine as always the Christ the divine feminine um, the Christ consciousness all these concepts are just um, coming back so I will I will just work with these energies as they present themselves to me um, and the other things that I'd like to I'm going to work on to actually help me um, further into my spiritual journey uh, is to work with this book uh, A Course in Miracles I'm sure you have all uh, heard of A Course in Miracles so this is the original edition text um, from um, so who's who wrote this again <laughs> I know it has been, I know it has been, um, uh, it is a text that Jesus, um, Yeshua has brought forth through a being called Helen Schumann, I believe. And there was another gentleman, which I don't remember the name, um, and it's not written anywhere here. Um, but I, I bought this book two years ago and... I remember reading only 17 pages and my mind was reduced to like a scrambled egg. I think there is no other words to explain how I felt. Like a my mind was literally scrambled and I just couldn't I just couldn't read the book and for some reason I think this year is is the year because although I don't understand anything I realize that I understand a few things at my level and I'm sure there is a lot more that we could um you know you could dig a lot more into this book because it's it's an incredible book but this book is here to help you um heal your mind um and 
help you um, integrate a brand new structure, basically. It's like a training program to help you um, align your mind with the universal mind. And so I'm reading it and alongside this, I am doing the lessons. So there are 365 lessons. I still haven't finished the book, but I'm already starting the lessons and I want to cleanse my mind fully. And I want to deprogram my mind from what we've been programmed to do and, to, and program my mind correctly. So I am tapping into this, um, the universal mind, the mind of God, basically. So this is what I'm going to do. And um, it's challenging, but it's fun at the same time. You know, if there is no challenge, what's the point? So this is what I'm going to do this year. Um, and I this will actually help me help you even more. And this will allow me to become a better channel a better healer a better priestess um you know i can bring my codes will 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 be even stronger my light language as well i know this will help me on so many levels and as a result it will also allow me to provide um uh, higher levels of teachings informations and um, that makes me very happy. So very happy to actually serve you guys, to help you the best that I can. And for the ones who resonate with my work, um, I feel like my work will go even deeper and further and will, I will tap into greater levels of, um, as you know, vibrations and heights. And so this will also have an impact on you. But we're all going there anyway. We are all changing. You will be changing a lot this year. I'm sure you will be a different person next year in 2022 at this time. I mean, on this day, which is the 10th, 11th today of, of January uh, 2022, you'll be a, a different person. Uh, because this is where we're heading at. Anything that is not in alignment with source will be cleansed and washed away from us. And um, the best way is not to resist it. The best way is not to, um, you know, attach yourself to what's going, to what you have to let go because it has to go away, because it's not in alignment with love. So surrender, allow yourself to receive those high vibrational energies that are coming your way. Allow yourself to love yourself, allow yourself to love others, be in nature, um, get some sun, allow those light codes that are coming from the central sun to be fully integrated within you. Um, and I highly recommend you to set an intention to be on your highest path. And speaking of which, I am going to do a video. And this video is going to help you to activate the highest, um, the highest timeline for you and to embody this highest this highest timeline so stay tuned this is going to be my next video uh, and it's going to be a light language video all right so i am sending you lots and lots of love lots and lots of blessings and gratitude for following my work and for your kind words um, and more to come so stay tuned I've got some nice projects coming through, which I am very happy to share with you guys. I love you and I'll see you next time. Happy New Year. Bye.